When I was teaching history at a high school in the Bronx, my colleagues and I didn't have the materials our students needed for a great education. I had an itch, and for me, the itch was seeing my students going without the materials they needed for a good education, and seeing my wallet grow smaller when I was spending my own money on copy paper and pencils. There's a movement of ventures which use the power of the web to let so-called amateurs go public with their originality. DonorsChoose.org enables public school teachers who've actually got incredible ideas, ideas that burst with personality and originality and imagination for helping their students learn and for the resources their kids most need. And there's a big change in who you have to know and how long you have to wait and how lucky you have to be to bring a good idea to life. Let's say you want to help a classroom in need. You go to DonorsChoose.org and first you can express a personal passion, the town where you grew up, your favorite book as a kid, the sport you played in high school, and see classroom project requests that match your passion. And then you can give as little as one dollar to the project that makes your eye twinkle and see exactly how your donation is spent and even hear back from the classroom you chose to help with photographs and thank you notes. I've learned in starting DonorsChoose.org that people on the front lines are often capable of coming up with better solutions than someone from on high. We think that teachers know their kids better than anybody else in the system, and if we can just tap into their classroom expertise, their innovative potential, we can unleash smarter, better targeted ideas than what a bureaucrat might come up with from on high or an academic in the ivory tower.